What's up, YouTube? So one of the things that annoys me most about the Jeep is the gas pedal, specifically the throttle uh, application. Um, so the Jeep uh, gas pedal, you have to really push it down a lot just to get it going. And then, I mean, on its own, it's not a bad thing. Um, when you're going off-roading, having that good uh, pedal modulation is, you know, nice for, you know, crawling over rocks and stuff. But when you hop into another car, so like here's like a Acura TLX that I also uh, daily drive on occasion. Um, on many modern cars, um, the gas pedal sensitivity is so high. Um, you just press the pedal a little bit and the car like zooms. Um, especially like when you put it in like sport mode, um, like the TLX um, Eco, um, it's so slow as well, but you can put in sport, sport, a normal sport and sport plus. Um, each setting getting you know more and more aggressive with the throttle application. But in the Jeep, yeah, there is um, <laughs> no tuning, no sport mode, nothing. So you're just stuck uh, with that single setting. And then so what happens is like usually when I um, get into another car, like the Acura, I end up pushing the gas pedal down way more than I need to. Um, Cause I'm just so used to pressing the Jeep pedal down so much. But then when I get back into the Jeep, um, then I'm not pressing the pedal down enough cause I'm so used to the other car. So that's always, you know, a minor annoyance. Um, just how, you know, much you have to push down the pedal just to get the thing moving. But recently I just found out um, about this uh, little application called a uh, pedal commander. So this will apparently hook in line um, between your pedal and the ECU. And then depending on how much you, you know, push your gas pedal down with your foot, it's gonna ma manipulate the um, signal that's going to the ECU. Um, so you can boost it apparently and make the throttle a lot more aggressive. But yeah, let's unpack this and then see if we can install it and then take it for a test drive and see if uh, the throttle um, sensitivity gets uh, any better. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is kind of just remove this little access panel below the steering wheel. And then we have uh, two bolts we need to take out. They're 10 millimeters, one right there and one on that side. So we'll take those out and that should give us good access to the connections. Well, it's a little hard to see, but um, when you reach back here, let me see if I can go from under. Yeah, so here's the connection I just undid from the gas pedal. Um, so it's like a little tab you're to push. And then when you push a tab down, the connector will lift off. Uh, it's just a tight space back there, but uh, not too hard to get to. Um, so now, um, what you're gonna do is on your uh, pedal commander. So this side um, that has, you know, again, that tab, this is gonna go into the pedal and then the uh, other computer side of the harness is gonna go into this guy right here. So let's uh, go ahead and attach this guy to the pedal. All right, so I finally got it in somewhere back there, but it was a complete pain in the ass to uh, get that installed. Basically, you gotta take your left hand, come in through the back and just try to do it all by feel. You can't see what's going on. But yeah, I'm extremely sweaty right now. Um, it's hot, but it's in. So now let's uh, just get this thing mounted and take it for a spin. Yeah, you can see what a workout that was. Definitely not fun. All right, so I got everything buttoned back up and I kept the pedal commander behind the access panel. So all you gotta do is, you know, just open it um, and then you can, you know, change your modes right there. But I assume, you know, I'm just gonna have one mode that I prefer. So I'll just keep it on that. But yeah, otherwise um, it's nice and hidden. Don't even know it's there. So let's close this and good to go. All right, let's put the key in. Hope we don't get any check engine lights. Nice. All right, so it looks like um, let's power this guy on. 
looks like it's already on Sport Plus. Um, so let's hit these plus buttons and go to plus four. Uh, let's go to max. I think, you know what? Um, let me pull out the driveway and then we'll go to uh, Sport Plus. So let me hold this to change modes. Now we're in city. Sport. Sport Plus. Uh, so no lights mean it's in stock, so okay. Uh, let's just roll out the drive. Okay. So we're back in park. Um, the instructions say, um, well, they, they recommend not to change modes while you're driving. Uh, it might kind of mess up uh, calibration. So um, just for safety, I put in park, uh, make sure we're not moving. So yeah, let's turn this back on. Um, let's go support. Let's max this guy out and see what happens. All right, here is nothing. combined with the throttle I, I can't even put my foot down like I think I can maybe move my foot like a quarter of an inch not even quarter of an inch and I have like full throttle wow okay um so I'm, I'm turning out of my street so let's uh accelerate onto the main road so usually when I go on the main road, I gotta, you know, hit the pedal pretty hard because I'm merging onto like a highway that has like 50 mile an hour uh, traffic going by. So let's um, do a little acceleration test. Oh, <laughs> crazy um, I don't think you can drive like this if you went bumper to bumper 100% chance you're gonna rear on someone but yeah this makes it feel like the Jeep has a lot more balls now it just felt like the Jeep was broken before all right so let's pull over and then let's go into um, eco mode and then basically the opposite end of the spectrum and see how bad the calibration gets. All right, so now we're in eco negative four. So let's see what happens. All right, this feels almost stock. Yeah. With this calibration, you have the transmission upshifts super early because you're barely giving any gas so it just takes a cruising. This might be good for off-road but yeah I don't like it. Um, I was try out the city mode next and see if that is a good medium. Alright so now we're in city plus four We'll see how that works. Not bad, but I don't know. I feel like it feels pretty similar to stock. Maybe a little bit more peppy, but not, a, not really that big of a difference. Get into just normal sport, see what that's like. All right, sport plus four, let's go. Not bad. I think sport might 
be the way to go. Maybe not plus four, maybe I can tone it down to like just a basic uh, zero setting, you no know, negative four, plus four. Yeah, even in plus four, if you give it a little bit of gas, kind of, kind of feel the engine just revving. Right, let's go to uh, this normal sport. Alright, sport zero, let's go. Bad though, like when you give it, you know, actually some real throttle, it'll downshift a decent amount. Yeah, before, like, when you wanted to pass someone, you just basically peg the throttle. Um, but now in sport zero, um, yeah, you just give it like maybe half the amount of gas that you used to. And it'll give you a nice downshift. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it feels weird driving a Jeep. That's actually sporty. Um, I know I don't have more horsepower. It's just like a manipulation of the throttle. But this makes a big difference. Before you felt like you would just have to really, you know, lug the Jeep around by giving it all that gas. But we just have to give it less throttle now and it still goes, you know, faster now. It just feels more peppy and like light on its feet. It's like you weren't unleashing the full potential of the pet to start before. But now it's, it just feels more awake. pull over maybe put in like sport negative two um, just to kind of tone it down a little bit so that way you know when you mash the accelerator you don't jump down all these gears like crazy right, so let's do that all right we're in sport negative two um, so let's keep off from the stop mix of daily drivability without being too crazy. Um, yeah, when you skip the pedal a little bit of throttle, it downshifts a lot nicer than it used to. Um, before you used to give yeah, way too much applicate, bottle application, just downshift. Hopefully my fuel car doesn't take a hit, but I wasn't getting Economy to Jeep to begin with. You know, probably average like 16 or 17 around town, 18 or 19 on the highway. Um, so, yeah, I understand the fuel economy is going to be bad no matter what. But, you know, it's going to be bad if the driving experience might as well you know, be enjoyable. Um, so, was a pedal commander worth $300? If I'm keeping your Jeep long term, which looks like I am, I've had it for five years now. Honestly, it could be another five years, who knows? Uh, there's a lot of nice vehicles coming out on the market soon, including the Bronco next year. Uh, but yeah, the Jeep could go one day for one of those off road vehicles, uh, maybe a Ford Raptor, but for now, I'm have to keep it, you know, two or three more years. I think this. $200 investment was definitely worth it. Honestly, I wish I knew about Pedal Commander five years ago. <laughs> that would have made 
this five past five years much more enjoyable. Yeah, overall, I recommend Pedal Commander. Um, if you think your Jeep is slow, um, I would definitely try this. Um, I've pretty much done everything to your Jeep as far as modifications go, um, except engine work. So, you know, drivetrain, um, suspension, uh, all that I've done. So this was, you know, the next step. But yeah, recommend it. Yeah, feeling out on the stop is much smoother and you don't feel like you're gonna hit someone anymore. Or if you get rear ended, you can actually accelerate from the traffic. Um, so, yeah, if you found this video helpful, uh, like and subscribe for more Jeep content and other content. Um, Got a lot of uh, videos coming out soon, so subscribe and like. Thanks.